Aloha, welcome back. So I had a little window here to uh, record, and uh, I was actually clearing the land, and the kids run down to the pool with some neighbors. So I said, hey, I got the house to myself, let's do some recording. So I don't know if you're going to be mad at me, I did some things off camera here that I initially thought I would put on camera, and uh, I thought, nah, let's just do them. The pace has been really slow, maybe I need to pick this up a little bit, so let's just record off camera. So if you don't like that, <clears throat> you know, I'm just waiting to hear if anybody has a particular uh, preference. Let's go look at some... Ah, now let's finish this up. Actually, let's not finish this up. This is really boring. So, uh... What I'll do is... Grab some bread. Yummy time. And let's head over. I spread out some torches. You can see them more on the map at night because the map's very dynamic. I really like this map system. I can pull up the map and you can see the area quite well. You know, I found these goats are just awful. They follow you around and eat stuff that you drop. They're a major pain in the rear. All right, so what have we got here? Okay, I've upgraded this to an MFSU. This thing will hold 10 million energy units. I've got four low voltage solar arrays. Yeah, I think I added one since last video. So my energy is I'm doing quite well. What else did I do? Oh, I upgraded my bat pack to a lap pack. I believe it holds 300,000 compared to the bat packs 100,000. Put an electrolyzer in here. What it does is it takes water cells and it's next to the bat box and as long as the storage device that you put it next to, I can put it next to that but I'll tell you why I didn't here shortly as long as the storage device has 80 percent storage or more it starts transferring power into the water cell this red bar will slowly fill and create an electrolyzed water cell and that electrolyzed water cell basically has like a a charge in it now you can't use that in the conventional sense. Electrolyzed water cells are used for certain recipes and that's why I set this up. I needed some electro electrolyzed water to make, I think, a compressor. Let's see. Uh, come, ah, come on. Fat fingered. Nope, not the compressor. Uh, rotary, no. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, recycler maybe. Whoa, now all of a sudden I've got some funky... Huh, that's odd. I seem to have foobarred my... There we go. No worries, all squared away. So I upgraded the furnace to an induction furnace. I have a switch in front and it's turned on. It's at 100% heat so it'll cook really fast. But it draws power constantly. I've got the macerator hooked as a rotary. It's shut off right now. The compressor, I've got a switch ready for when I upgrade that. Whoops. The extractor is a center centrifuge extractor. I've got the power shut off. Let's turn it on. So it's going to start speeding up here. And we'll wait until it's fully sped up. Well, no, we won't. I'll show you why. I've got some sticky resin. I'll drop one sticky resin in here. Now watch how slowly it processes at low speed. Okay, let's take that out. I'll come back to that once the speed comes up. So the recycler, you can dump anything in here, almost anything, and it'll process it at a cost of a certain amount of energy. I got a whole bunch of dirt here because I've been farming dirt like crazy. And there's like a roughly, I think, 5% chance it'll turn it into scrap. And then the scrap, I'm collecting. And we'll use that later. Oh, I've made a couple low voltage solar arrays. I'm going to make eight of those total. I got four on the roof, and there's two more. And when I get two more, I'll uh, create a, 
uh, medium voltage solar array. And that's, mm, I think that's all of this. There's one cool thing we can make real quick. Wow. Uh, real quick. Let me go ahead and look it up. Let's make a jet pack. These things are fun. Ah, that's not it. Do I have glowstone? Uh, oh, okay, that's what I need it for. I knew I needed it. Man, I, my display is really messed up. Let's put two here just in case. Let's get rid of this because it's messing up my display. So I trust everyone's doing all right out there. And I got plenty of dirt. Uh, was the glowstone out here? Not there. I'm making lots of. I've drawn some sugar and turned it into books. I thought I went and grabbed some glowstone. I know it went over and the portal blew out. Maybe I need to go back and grab the glowstone. Maybe we can do that. I'm not particularly crazy about going after what happened last time. Oh, yeah, I did. Alright. So we're going to need some of that. What else do we need? Uh, two advanced, two electronic. Okay, I can, maybe I can remember that. Bat box and four. Alright, let's just grab what I... Two, three, four. Let's watch this induction furnace burn these up real fast. And then that's slick. Alright, so we got four of those. Electronic circuit. Do I have an extra? I thought I did. Yes, I do. Two. Oh, yeah. I knew I was missing some. Oh, I want to run more dirt in here. I want to keep that rolling. And let's get rid of this. All right, electronic circuit. One here, one here. Corners. One here, one here. Advanced circuit. Uh, advanced stone. I think I've got stone, but I don't know where. So let's just burn some more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Stone. It's my font. Now, God, why am I... Oh, because I looked something else up and it threw me off. That's why. Uh, let's put that back. Find iron. Well, I just sat there and looked at that and I completely forgot what it was again. Three find iron, two of those, that, and... Circuit... I'm going to have to look in this awful bat box. How can I forget a bat box? So a bat box is three batteries, a contact, and five. I don't have five. Okay, good. Ah! Quit it! <laughs> Let's take one more piece of wood here. Create some planks. Need ten like crazy. Do I have no? I need these two. Let's put some more dirt in. Um, okay, I think we're good. It's for the bat box, which we actually need five. So let's grab these. Three batteries. One, two, three. Just split these because it doesn't matter. It'll only make three. Um, one, two, three. Contact on top and five wooden planks. Bat box. Bat box. Advanced circuit. Two glowstone and four refined iron. Electric jetpack. Finally. My goodness. Gracious, that was harder than it needed to be. Tin goes back. We've got tons of tin. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell by looking. I mined a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, the, there's one other thing we're going to do here. 
Oh yeah, I completely forgot. So we'll set this sucking energy to fill it. And we're going to make ourselves some toys here. Get ourselves a bunch of carbon plate. Four energy crystals. And I need one block of glass. Alright, we're going to make first a nano suit helmet. A nano suit body armor, a nano suit leggings, and a nano suit boots. All right, man, we're off to the races here. Things are just looking awesome. So the jetpack's completely filled. We're going to fill, we have to charge each one of these items. While that's happening, I'm going to take a, a real chance here. And eh, let's do it this way. Hat, legs, and feet. Put them in here. Hat, legs. You know what, let's get rid of these because i got a whole other set of boots. I won't even need them. Let's take these out. Let's recycle those boots. That did nothing. That's alright. Um, helmets charged. Chest. This will take just a minute. So, nah, let's not. Let's wait. Yeah, no, let's go do it. So, we got the jetpack. Let's put it here instead. Now, when you use the space button for the cost of energy, and I have to. You're going to drop like a rock, so you have to time it. There's some bad guys. So, this is cool. This is extremely cool. So you can see, I flattened out this area here. Let's go back in the shelter. Oh, man, that was a perfect landing. Absolutely awesome. So you have to be careful wearing this so your jumps will carry you away. So I flattened out this area, closed off that little entrance. I think we're going to put our thaumaturgy tower here. I think. Oh my gosh, I got a dead spot. Look at that. Okay. Let's take these bad boys out. Oh, I got no bullets. Well, let's do it the old fashioned way. Whoa. I don't kill myself jumping around. Come on, guys. Let's get this over with. Punks. Tell you what. Alright. Yep. Well, I hate that noise they make when they eat stuff because it sounds like a creeper starting to explode all right chest pants while that's charging I'm gonna go through this rotten flush in here I need to recharge my lap pack so you can see with this stuff you got a lot of need for electricity I didn't use a whole lot of the power of the jet pack we'll chart we'll top it off when the legs are done but with those um, those solar arrays, we're really getting a lot of energy during the day cycle. And one thing I regret it I regret I didn't just use some wind and water power first starting out just just for fun. Really wished I'd done that. Oh, you know what? More dirt. Give me more dirt. Top those off now. Finally, the feet. While that's going, let's safely store. Um, sorry about that, folks. Quit it! Quit it! I've got a really nervous dog, and if he hears any kind of noise that he doesn't appreciate. Um, surprisingly, you haven't heard him till now. Okay, so the boots are almost done. Very good. So let's put this stuff on. Now it's my understanding, and I haven't tested this. I don't know that I want to test it. 
It's my understanding you have to have the whole suit on for it to be effective. Is that really true? Mm, wish I knew. But we're going to find out. Sounds a little glitchy. I don't have I don't have any walking noises here. Okay. Let's do it. Last one in is a rotten egg. Alright, you can see we're taking about a half a heart of damage. So we're gonna die eventually. But we can climb on out of here. And we're still on fire. But we're healing because we're not damaging fast enough here compared to the armor. And we're no longer on fire. Pretty good stuff. This nano armor's not bad. So, barely scratch the energy. I guess by rights I should make sure it's fully charged. Yep, took a little bit of energy. That's it. So I almost made this off camera and I thought, you know, I can't make everything off camera. That's just not right. So I hope that that was okay. The other thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our compressor. No, we're not. I made some compressed coal balls. And we'll talk about that recipe sometime if there's a need. Well, let's make one. We're going to make a recipe like this. Eight compressed coal balls, one obsidian in the middle. Gives us a coal chunk. Let's make one more. Because we have one more obsidian in our hands. And what do you think we do with these coal chunks? Compress them. Let's put them in the compressor. And let's see what they make. Uh, power. Everything's full. I'm not going to go to the nether yet. I'm going to store this nano armor. I'm going to put my uh, iron back on. And I have reasons for that. They're probably not very good reasons, but they're... I still need to mine some stuff. I want to make a mining laser still. I want to get this area cleaned up more. And then I think I'll be more ready for the nether. Okay, so let's check our compressor. Two diamonds. Yes, that's how you make a diamond with IC2. So you take coal. You put it in the macerator. Man, I wish I had some coal. And that gives you coal dust. One coal makes one coal dust once you macerate it. Then, when you put it in this pattern... Which is actually one each, but this will make several. Alright, let's do it that way. Let's just make one. Okay, that makes one, but we're going to need at least two. Gives you raw carbon fiber. Then you put two next to each other. Gives you raw carbon mesh. Right? Wait a minute, am I doing this right? I don't remember. Carbon. Raw carbon. Let's do compressed coal. Let's do coal. I know I know how to do this because I've done it. Makes a coal ball. Ah, flint. So it's just the coal dust. Yeah, so I am telling you the wrong darn thing. And I've got to get rid of this. Let's put that in there. Grab some. Actually, where did I put the flint? Oh, it's right there. Let's grab a couple of those. So you put the coal dust in the crafting table like so. So that's 16 coal dust and 2 flint. Gives you 
two coal balls and then you compress the coal balls and they make the compressed coal ball. That's correct. So you need eight of these to make one diamond. So that's a lot of coal dust. And I think I did the math, I think it was 72 coal. 72 coal, eight flint, and one obsidian to make a diamond. Yep, there we go, compressed coal ball. So I had made several coal balls, compressed coal balls, as you can see. And I've been saving really my coal dust for um, making solar arrays and uh, I made a whole bunch of um, carbon plate. Carbon plates used to make the advanced machine block. You take two of these, two advanced alloys. I think we went through that in the last video. Alright, oh, I keep forgetting to feed my recycler. Need more. Okay, so I can make a few diamonds here and there. Now if I've got enough diamonds, and I don't think I do, eh, we don't need that. Yeah, we're going to save those. And I haven't gotten, I want at least nine of any of the Vs crystals, but I'm not, I haven't got my facility set up, which is another reason I want us to get started on Thomcraft. So I'm going to start building a tower. And I'll do that pretty much off camera because I'm a pretty darn slow builder. Not very imaginative, so if it's going to be decent at all, it's going to take me a while. And I want to continue sculpting the landscape a little bit. I want to tear out that area there. I want to start building farms out here that are more handy somewhere. I may move some of this, I may not. I don't really, that's a natural shape, but it's not convenient for farming sugar cane. So I may move this one. I may not. I may make it smaller. I may make that the majority of the sugar cane. Um, just thinking about making a keep here attached to this, and this would be like the trader section or, you know, the industrial section, if you will. You know, the smithy. <laughs> uh, the village, I haven't really checked. I started to do some research to figure out why the villagers aren't here. I'm pretty sure it's because there's not doors. I think I took all the doors out. You know what, let's throw some doors up. Then we'll call this a video. Let's get some doors. Let's get some doors up. I know I stole one door. I may have stolen two. And at least one of the buildings is missing a door. I don't know if it blew up or wasn't there. So here's one door missing. There's a door. I thought I stole that one. I guess not. Oh, there's a door there. That one's got a door. There's two more. That's got a door. This one's missing. Oh my. Eh, I should put steps there. That would be too much work right now. Okay, this is just a well door. I'm gonna close this off eventually too. Right now I don't care about this village so much. They probably fell to their death. They probably kept falling in there till they died. And these slimes, that's something else. These stinking slimes. I've about had it with these guys. And the reason I say that is Supposedly, if you have high taint, then the thalamic slimes appear. Well, I haven't done hardly anything. I've destroyed just a handful of crystals, but it must just be a, a naturally low area. So I guess I don't need all these stinking doors. I'll use them eventually, but... can't remember the min... Oh, you know what? I don't think they'll spontaneously appear. I 
think we're not going to have villagers till I find some. I don't know. I'll research it later. Alright, that's enough for now. Hopefully this video has been somewhat interesting. Um, a lot of change going on. Still working to progress. Hope it's uh, hope it's to everyone's liking. Um, please comment if you have any ideas or suggestions, any likes or dislikes. I'm gonna start getting a little more shameless, you know. Please like and subscribe. Uh, not sure how many people know my videos are out there. Uh, maybe nobody cares because they're not good, but you know, tell me that. If they're not any good, please tell me and tell me why and we'll work on it and that's uh, the changing landscape as of today as the sun goes down thanks for watching this is Maliner saying aloha and mahalo